Fill in the operators to make the equation true. Many students feel at a loss when they see this kind of problem. Today, I'll teach you a trick to find a breakthrough and solve it easily. The breakthrough point is either at the beginning or at the end. So, for this problem, is it at the beginning or the end? Let's try both. Suppose it's at the end. Let me rewrite it. If it's at the end, then the first four numbers must either subtract 7 equals 5 or divided by 7 equals 5. If you subtract 7, then the sum of the four 7s would have to become 12. But four 7s can't become 12, so it can only be division. Which number divided by 7 equals 5? Obviously, as long as the four sevens add up to 35, it works. But if you add up four sevens, you only get 28, which isn't enough, so there must be multiplication involved. But if you just multiply any of them, the result will be greater than 35. That's okay. Let's, we can subtract, right? Subtract one seven and it's still greater than 35. Subtract another seven and you'll find that 77 minus seven minus seven happens to equal 35. That works perfectly. But there's a problem. You have to use parentheses for it to work. But are parentheses considered operators? No, classmates, parentheses are not considered operators. So this method doesn't work. If breaking through from the position doesn't work, then let's try breaking through from the beginning and rewrite it. All right, if we try breaking through from the beginning, then either 7 divided by a number equals 5. 7 divided by what equals 5? That doesn't work. It's not an integer, so division won't work. That means we have to use subtraction. 7 minus what equals 5? Obviously, as long as these four 7s equal 2, it works. So how can these four sevens equal two? Seven divided by seven is one, and another seven divided by seven is also one. Add the two together and you get exactly two, right? So seven minus that number equals five, which works perfectly. But again, we have parentheses. Can we remove these parentheses? Yes, you can remove them, just turn them into operators. So it's seven minus seven. Divided by seven, change the plus sign to a minus sign, and then divide by 7 again. Look, 7 minus 1, then minus 1 again, just happens to equal 5.